Hey folks, uh, this is Mr. Mathlog. This is our review for our test on Module 2. And if you haven't figured this out yet, all your lessons can be found at this groovy website right there. And then click the Integrated Math 2 link at the top. All right, so here we go. Let's simplify the expression and multiply out our final answer. So here I have a quantity squared. Here I have a quantity cubed. So this 3 is going to be squared, this x squared is going to be squared, this 2 is going to be cubed, and this x to the 4th is also going to be cubed. So there's that right there, okay? And then we'll go ahead and do 3 squared is 9, 2 to the 3rd is 8. Here, powers to powers, we multiply. So this will be x to the 4th, and this will be x to the 12th, because we multiply those, okay? And then we'll put, group the, the constants together and the variables together. So 9 times 8 is 72. And then now we're going to add these exponents. So it's going to be uh, 4 plus 12 is 16, okay? All right, here's the next one here, okay? On this one here, I'm going to go ahead and do 4 goes into 52 13 times, and then... And then I'm going to cancel out four of these x's upstairs. We'll take off four of these ten downstairs, so there'll be six left. And then three y's down here will take three of the eight, so there's going to be five left. So there's that right there, and then that's our answer. Whoops, we're losing, um, we're losing anyways, uh, uh, this closure right here. So this should be going right here. Uh, somehow I lost it. I thought I put it in. It might be on the next one there. All right, so yeah, I did. All right, so... Um, uh, this one here. Okay, careful you guys. This negative is not being included with this squared. Only the squared is this 3 and the x to the fifth. So the negative stays in the picture, okay? All right, so then, then we do 3 squared is 9, and then this is going to be x to the tenth, but it's negative, negative 9x to the tenth, okay? All right, so this next one here, this time it's negative 4 that's being squared, okay? So negative 4 squared. Uh, the x squared and the y to the 11th squared, okay? So negative 4, a negative times a negative is going to be, this is going to be positive 16. So 16x squared, y to the 22nd because we multiply those exponents, okay? All right, and then this one here. So I have um, uh, this quantity is squared, so this negative 6 is going to be squared, this x is going to be squared, and this y to the 4th is going to be squared. Here I have a quantity that to the 0 power. Anything to the 0 equals 1, okay? All right, so here we go. So that's the 1 right there. And then negative 6 times negative 6 is 36. So I'm going to multiply these two guys, so it's going to be uh, x squared, y to the 8th right there, okay? All right, so uh, here... Uh, let's see, I'm going to flip these exponents. I don't think I canceled the 24. Oh, I did. Okay. All right, so 3 goes into 15 5 times, and 3 goes into 24 8 times. So, so there's still the negative there, so negative 8 and then the 5. And then what I did was is this negative exponent went downstairs, and here it is right here is a positive exponent. This negative exponent went downstairs, and it became this positive exponent. And this negative 4 became a positive 4 upstairs, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and add these exponents. So 7 plus 4 is 11. Here the y's is going to be going to add these. 5 and 2 is 7. And here the 2 and 5 is 7. So, so it's going to be negative 8x to the 11th over 5y to the 7th, z to the 7th. Okay? All right, so there we go right there. Okay? And then, uh, whoops, let me go back in case you didn't see that. Okay? And you can pause it, you guys, so pause it if you need to. And simplify all roots completely. Okay, so this one here. Okay, so... So I, I wrote it out in class today. I wrote out x to the 11th as, okay, the square root, and then I wrote 11 x's in there. I'm not going to do that on here. There's a little imaginary 2 right there, which means 2 on the inside brings 1 on the outside. Okay, so how many pairs of x's can I pull out when there's 11 in there? We can pull out 5 pairs, and there's 1 left over in there, okay? So that 2 says we're going to pull out pairs, so we can pull out 5 pairs out of that. So there's my x to the 5th right there, and then the leftover square root of x is inside right there, okay? Okay, so here um, we're going to break down that 40. 40 is 8 times 5, and 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. So there's that right there. And then notice um, this is the cube root. So I wrote x to the 6 as uh, x cubed times x cubed because we add those exponents right there. And then y to the 4th is y to the 3rd times y right there. 
here's e to the tenth. Here's three, here's three more, here's three more, and then this one more gives us ten right there. And the reason why we put them in cubes right here is because we want the cube roots. Okay, so three twos on the inside will bring one two out. Three x's will bring one x out, one x out, one y out, one z, one z, one z, and then we have the leftover things inside. Okay, so there's that cleaned up, and you should get uh, that as your answer. Okay. Okay, so here, this is the fifth root, you guys. Okay, so 243, you guys, is 3 to the fifth power. And if you don't know that, then just start breaking it down. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. So since 3 goes into 9, 3 goes into 243. In fact, it goes in there 81 times. And so 81 is 3 to the fourth, or you can just keep breaking it down, and it'll get you 3 to the fifth. There's five threes right there, okay? Notice I wrote uh, this y to the twelfth is y to the um, right of the fifth plus five more plus two. Here's z to the eleventh, five and five and one more right there, okay? So I wrote them in groups of five because we need groups of five because it's a fifth root. So here we're going to pull out one three, one y, another y, one z, and another z, and the leftover pieces inside right there, okay? So clean it up and you should get that as your answer right there. Okay, uh, let's see. So evaluate the expression. Okay, so these are numeric answers. All right, so let's deal with that square root of four ninths. Here it is over here. The square root of four ninths is the square root of four over the square root of nine, which is two thirds. Okay, so we'll put that next to the six right there. So it's six times two thirds, and then there's the square root of 25 right there. All right, so this is like six over one. So three goes into six two times right there, and then we're left with two times two, which is four. And then 4 plus 5 gives us that 9 right there. Okay? All right, this one here, the square root of 25 is 5. The cube root of 27 is 3. 5 plus 3 is 8. Okay? All right, so 16 to a negative power it becomes 1 over 16 to the positive power. And then we'll put this in radical form. This is always the index number that goes outside the radical, the denominator here. Okay, so this is the square root of 16 and then cubed. So it's 1 over the square root of 16 cubed. Remember, there's an imaginary 2 right there. The square root of 16 is 4. So 1 over 4 cubed, okay, so here's this value inside of here is this 4, so 4 cubed, 4 times 4 times 4 is 64, 1 over 64, don't forget the 1 over part, okay. All right, same thing with this, we're going to put it in the denominator to make it a positive exponent. This is going to be the cube root of this number to the fourth power right there, so, okay, so it's 1 over all of that, 1 over the cube root of 27, the cube root of 27 is 3, so 1 over 3 to the 4th is 1 over 81. Okay, whoops, I didn't put a box around that, but that's the answer right there. Okay, so simplify. Okay, so here we go. So we have another cube root of 27, x to the 3rd, uh, and all that's to the 4th. All right, I'm going to exchange 27 with 3 to the 3rd. Now we'll do powers to powers. So 3 to the, so this power to a power, I'm going to multiply. So inside it's going to be 3 to the 12th, x to the 12th, because I multiplied those exponents right there. Now I'm going to put them as a fraction. So this is the denominator, so it's going to be 3 to the 12 thirds power, x to the 12 thirds power. And then 12 thirds equals 4. Okay, 3 to the 4th is still 81, so 81x to the 4th. Okay, one more, you guys. Okay, so here we have x squared, y cubed, and this is the square root. There's no index number there, so it's the square root. Okay, so x squared cubed is x to the sixth. This is going to be y to the third, and this is going to be y to the four over this power, four over two power. There's an imaginary two right there, okay? All right, so let's clean it up. So there's x to the sixth, and then this becomes two right there. And now what we're going to do is add these exponents. So it's going to be x to the sixth, y to the fifth right there, okay? All right, you will have one application problem on your test. It'll be coming from your homework that we did in class. And if you're in our class, you will get that assignment. Take care. Hey, and good luck. And let me know how you did, too. That's uh, really cool. Take care. Hope it helps.